Hello everybody, welcome back to World of Warship Blitz game. Um, if you are wondering why the screen aspect ratio is correct and doesn't have any uh, blurry bars at the top of the bottom, or black bars as the case may be, whatever um, YouTube does, um, it is because I am playing a replay sent in by Grapes, who has very kindly decided to send in a replay of the Tier 8. Tier 8, I'm pretty sure it's Tier 8. Uh, Japanese destroyer, the Kagero. Now this is definitely the Kagero. Um, and I stand to be correct at the end of the video. I'm pretty sure the Akatsuki is tier 7 and the Akizuki is the tier 8 gunboat and the Kagero is the tier 8 torpedo boat. As you can see, um, Idiot is a tier 8. As you can see, he's up against, well, um, there's an ice on the enemy team, which means the enemy team has scouting and a Fiji, which means they have a dedicated Kagero killer. Um, here he is. So um, coming in, uh, taking a nice close look at that um, that Atlanta um, basically inspecting the paintwork and here's a Cleveland which obviously is a um, yeah, bit of a risk right so he's got two options here he's going to dump some torpedoes how many does he dump he dumps two is it two or three uh, okay then that's a sign that he's spotted um, now, if I was that North Carolina, I would be applying some rudder. <laughs> um, if a torpedo destroyer turns away, that's never a good thing. Um, now, he may have applied some acceleration, but still, six hits has got to smart. And the great thing about um, grapes here is he's stopping just outside of range. Um, obviously that ice is, is, is not hunting the destroyer. There's one destroyer on um, his team. Oh, he's only got two torpedo tubes. Two sets of four. That'll explain why he's... I thought he kept one in reserve. It must be the Akatsuki that has them in three sets of three. His torpedoes come back online. We've got a North Carolina traveling in a lovely straight line. It is dead. That line is absolutely unwavering and it is time to say no problem because that line is unwavering there goes the fiji um, that is definitely something that um uh, that grapes here does not want to be spotted by okay looks like the um north carolina is well <laughs> traveling in a perfectly straight line one on the stern one on the bow for <laughs> Two on this turn, two on the bow, four in the middle, there goes the Fiji, and now it's open season. For, um, so there's one destroyer out there, there's a poor lone battleship, 10 seconds away from getting its uh, just desert, so he's got 56,000, 14 torpedo hits, so he's fired uh, four salvos, a total of 16 torpedoes in the water, 14 have hit. So um, good shooting there. So just be aware that um, for those people that do think the Kagero is a really powerful ship, it is, but um, be aware that a lot of its power can be um, uh, counteracted by um, steering. <laughs> Which is why when you see me in my battleships, I tend to have a sort of sweeping turns as I head in towards the, um, in towards the enemy, or I cut the power. This ice has no secondaries, so this ice is doing, I'm not sure what this ice is doing, but he is definitely going to be wearing a few torpedoes. Um, he keeps the turn up, so maybe he'll avoid some of them, or maybe not. <laughs> the three's all it needed to sink him. He's, um, obviously this Cleveland is causing him um, some grief. Right. Um, he's very lucky to survive this long against this Cleveland. Um, this Cleveland is very much wanting to get rid of this Japanese destroyer. He's keeping his nose in. Um, he's wiggling around just slightly so that um, he doesn't get too badly hammered. And then the Atlanta saves the day because, well, the Atlanta takes the, the focus and he can't aim at grapes. And the Lennon takes out the, um, out the Cleveland. And off to the north, it looks like we have a, a swapsies going on. 
Um, as long as that cruiser can survive long enough, well, no, there we go. But I think the game is definitely over. He's getting hammered by something. Oh no, it's friendly Atlanta. So it's so here it is. It's the mucking around part of the game because that's all over and he gets the battle star. So there you go. So there's the Kagero. Very much a stealth battleship. Uh, sorry, stealth destroyer. <laughs> sorry about that. It's a stealth destroyer. Um, you know, um, it was a very, very good setup there with the destroy enemy destroyer going the other way um, and lots of juicy battleships, which is an ideal environment for the ship, but it was well piloted and um, definitely could have been uh, a lot more troublesome um, with that Cleveland. So well done.